Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to talk about this 3D model tutorial for jewelry care design on this crown pendants. Are you ready? Let's get started. To making this pendant, we could have on the bottom with uh, the same under bezel setting like the one that we have on the top. But I actually wanted them to be solid piece so that way it will be more durable when my chin is keep rubbing there on the body. And so that's starting from the scratch. I'm going to bring in the stone first and then you can download the stone file at the description below. Sign up for the newsletter and there will be a link for you to download this file. Now, once you get your stone file, you can size the stone into whatever size that you want. In this case, I have 1.5 millimeter. After we do that, we need to define it how big this pendant is going to be. I'm going to type it zero here and I'm going to type it for the diameter for 10 millimeter and for something like this. You can make it bigger or smaller, but I'm just simply going to move this one up here. That will be our first stone. I will also like the stone to be aligned. So that's using align centers and just type it zero there. So it's right in the middle. Now we have this, we need to creating the piece behind the stone. Uh, let me go ahead to bring the stone more close to here. And simply we just going to draw a rectangle with the arc corner. So I'm going to left click here and we can draw any size as long as it's, it's wider than the stone. And for the thickness, I don't need it to be too thick. It will be too heavy. So something around here, it should be fine and bring in a little bit to get the radius. All right, so I want a stone to be positioned sitting right on top. So the girdle, you want them to be aligned with this area right here. So the girdle is sitting on the faces uh, right there. Okay, so now we, got, we can take a look on it and see if every position is correct. If that look correct to you, I'm going to pick up this one. And just using the surface tool, we have revolve. We want to snapping into the zero right here for 360 degree. So then we'll get more like a ring band over there. Okay, so now I'm looking at it. I feel like this guy I forgot to align. So let's go ahead and pick up the on the right view. And I want to align horizontal center and just type it zero here. So now it is it look aligned. All right, the second things that we wanted to do is we want to see how many stones do we need for this one. So let's go ahead to using the polar array and I want to snapping into the zero and that's giving a guessing. Like I'm going to guess 16 here. And as you can see that this is a really big space in between. If you want to share prong, it probably not going to work. So I'm going to bump it up a little bit. So let's try 20. And then ideally you want to gap in between for about 0.1 to 0.2 millimeter. This one, it should be all right there. So I'm just going to use the 20 for our stone size, right? So once you have that, I'm going to draw a straight line, really short line right there. And this is going to be our prong. And I'm going to use the pipe command and we're going to pipe in the size roughly like this. Okay. Once you have this one, I want this going in between and tilt it a little bit to follow the direction on the surface. And I want to move this right in the middle. So let's come back to take a look here. I'm going to bring this one up and you want to check on my perspective view and see if they are right in the middle. So let's go ahead to bring up just a little bit. All right. So if that one look okay, we are going to simply just mirror to the other side because it's symmetrical. Just type in zero here and using the mirror command and then you can get something like this. All right, now with this one, we need to make a bunch of them. So we simply just going to use the polar array, snapping into the zero as a center and let's do 20 of them. The same like what we had with the stone size. So now we have that first part is done. You can creating a cutter if you want to. Simply to do is draw a circle exactly the same with the stone size or just tiny smaller. And then you can extrude it with the gumball first. 
pick up the curve again and you want to extrude it again. Now when you extruded this one, you want to hold down the shift to bring in a little bit. And once you get this one, you want to extrude it one more time, right? So that way you will get those three surface. And what you can do is to join them. Once you join them, you can use the cap command to close it. So then you will have this as a cutting tool. I'm going to change them into other layer. So that way you will see they are there. All right. So the way that you're going to do it the same, we're going to use the polar array with exactly the same number. Center will be zero. Let's use 20 of them and then we'll get something like this. Now, simply you just want to use the Boolean different to cut a hole behind the stone. I highly recommend you do all of, you do uh, the hole on each of the stone. The reason is it will be easier to clean later on uh, because human tend to have a lot of uh, different grease on the body and that will, uh, you know, getting into behind the stone will be really hard to clean. All right, so if you have a hole behind the stone, it will look, that it will be much easier to clean. At the same time, it, your rendering will look better. All right, let's continue. I want to come back to the top view and in this top view, I'm going to draw another circle snipping into the zero and circle like somewhere in the middle of this piece. All right. And let's go ahead to turn off the original layer so we can just deal in with this one. Oops, it's tilted. That's fine. We're going to come into a top view. In fact, I'm going to delete it and let's come back to the top view and we want to do something like this right about in the middle. And let's open this to make sure that's the line. In fact, they need to be a little bit bigger like this. Okay, so for this one, what we like to do is we want to separate them into the section. In this case, I have 20 stone there. So I actually want to divide this into the 10 section. Let's go into use the divide command. And with divide command, I want to divide them into the 10 section. So once you are done, then you'll have all those points, right? And we just need to have two of the points as an example. So those two points is going to act in my cutting tool and it's going to cutting the rest of it. All right, so that is the curve that we are looking for. Rest of it, we can just delete it. All right, so this is the curve that we have and we want to create some sort of an arc there. So what I like to do is I'm going to rebuild this curve and we want to rebuild into the degree three and we just need to have four point right there. And that is allow us to have some point to, to play around. So I'm going to pick up this one and this one and just bring up something like this. So that will be a proper size for it. Let's go ahead to turn on our original button of the crown and I'm going to bring this one up. All right, depends on what kind of a shape that you like, you can actually bring up more if you want to just turn on the control point and then you can continue to bring up or on the bottom those two you can actually bring them wider by dragging the control point make them a bit wider all right so what we can do with this one we can simply just pipe it so let's go ahead to pipe it and i like to have something about this size on both end and right in the middle i want to add one there so make sure your quadrant is on on the all snap and i want something a bit bigger there and then, then we'll get something like this now it looks like a smiling face that's good make sure it's in the correct position and i also wanted to have this to be polar array so since we divided by 10 it's making more sense we are using the same number let's go ahead at the top view type it zero here and I wanted to number to set it up for 10. And that's how we get this piece right here. Now you can jam a stone right in the middle if you want to, or you can just make another one up there. I'm going to copy the stone that I have right here uh, with one of the prong. So I'm just going to pick up this stone and pick up the prong. And I'm going to move them up like here. All right, so for the stone, simply I'm just going to draw a tube, snapping into the vertex first, and you don't have to snap in anywhere, and, but you want to get it uh, under bezel, it's just slightly uh, smaller than the stone size. As long as you can cover the coolant, that will be fine. I think this is a little bit too wide, so let's go ahead to uh, 1D scale it. 
All right, so now I have that piece right there. In fact, this is already tilted. I probably don't want to use that. So let's draw another one. We wanted to have a straight line right here. And with this one, we just simply wanted to pipe it. So let's go ahead to use the pipe command for something about this big. All right, so now we have this one. Let me align them first. A lot of time, if you don't align, they just don't look correct. And we want to get into something like this, maybe a little bit longer. All right, so let's take a look on this one. Let's bring this one up to where it should be, somewhere there. And I also like to trim the bottom now. So let me go ahead to use to draw a line close to the bottom right here and use that line to or curve to trim off this bottom right there. All right, so we want to cap it first to close our bottom. Now at the front view, I'm going to use the polar array and I'm going to snap in, uh, into the vertex. I wanted to have number four which is a full prong there and double make sure everything is touching so you will have a good print there. All right. And if this look right to you and I'm going to have them group together. All right. So we're going to use the rotate tool snapping into the zero, holding the shift, click on the bottom of the stone. The number we wanted to rotate it is 360 divided by 20. And you don't have to do the calculation. The Rhino will do that for you. All right. So double make sure they are sitting into the right place and see if they need to come out a little bit or not. Right now, once you have the correct position that you like, you can click on this one. Again, we repeating using this command for polar array that's snapping into the zero and we wanted to have 10 of them. So that's how we can get this crown pendant. Once you put the chain on it, that will be a nice, really nice little pendant to wear. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in other type of a setting, I do have a stone setting course on my website. Welcome to check out the course and let me know if you have other questions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.